Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen at Soul Magic 99 and today I'm doing a twin flame reading which is the current energies of this connection, okay? So we've got masculine energy, feminine energy and the energies between. I just want to thank everybody for watching, liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting on my channel. As I said, once I get to 2,000 subscribers there will be a giveaway of two free readings and two decks of my design. So please keep sharing, commenting and subscribing so let's get the energies between you at the moment we have three as a crowd planting seeds pumpkin spice cravings hand in hand wishing on a star star cross lovers long lost love <clears throat> cold transforming and lovebirds so what i feel at the moment possibly uh, one or both of you are involved with other people or trying to get out of a situation with other people okay and there could be other connections you're involved in we've got planting seeds so this is about to me it talks about manifestation you know what is it that you want for your life what is it what are those seeds of intention you want for yourself so whenever we have a full moon or new moon that's a good time to set your intentions out there. <clears throat> With punk, pumpkin spice cravings, that to me brings up like Halloween season, um, which is end of October, um, autumn time, you know, the autumn leaves there. Um, maybe there's going to be a reconnection at that some, some point because we've got hand in hand. So I do think both parties, maybe there'll be some sort of reconnect, reconnection. And again, wishing on a star... You know, possibly you are both wishing to reconnect. And you could also be star seeds because I've been getting that a lot lately because we've got star cross lovers here as well. So there could be that star seed connection. And long lost love, possibly you've been, you know, in separation for quite a long time. I know some people it's been years, some people it's been months, some people it's weeks. Um, but this could be your, you know, your long lost re love reconnection because we've got cold here. <clears throat> so I think, you know, because of that distance, there could have been lack of communication. So there was a coldness, a distance. And we've got transforming. So I think both people are, are going through transformation. There's a lot of healing work being done. There's a lot of astrological activity which is affecting everybody. And there's lots of things that are being processed, old wounds, child, child, inner child healing and things like that. And then we've got lovebirds. So to me, this is the connection, the reconnection. Okay, the two birds are there on the branch together. So maybe you're going to get back together to have a, even if it's just have a talk at some point. <clears throat> so let's look at the masculine energies first off. So we have woman holding a coin, seventh chakra, which is the um, crown chakra, strategy, the garden and the gates, <clears throat> a broken heart, magician and the mirror, and caring connections. So we're going to clarify these with the tarot first off. So first off we have woman holding a coin. So th this is, I think, is how he sees his feminine actually. He sees her somebody that is quite financially independent, somebody that is independent, somebody that is not reliant on him for finances or, or for financial support. But let's have a look at the tarot. <clears throat> yeah, we're a page of pentacles. So yeah. I mean, this is about offers, you know, communication coming in. Um, there could be an offer coming in, as I said, in, in the future. Um, the beginning of something, I feel. So then we have the seventh uh, chakra, the crown chakra, and we have the lovers. So I think because he's been opening up, he's been working on this, his chakras, he's had an awakening. He's aware of what this connection is. He's aware of what this means. Um, so he's in connection with the divine, the universe, his guides and angels. He's listening to this guidance now. 
and he's aware of this connection. So with strategy, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So yeah, there's been a lot of stuck energy. So I think people are coming out of this stuck energy now. And to go forward, he needs to make a plan, a strategy to come forward, okay, when the time is right. And with the Wheel of Fortune, that is, you know, things are turning in your favour. There is the opportunity for new starts to move forward in your life, whereas you were stuck before. And the Garden and the Gate, we have the Nine of Swords. So, yeah, I think, you know, he was feeling trapped, basically, and stuck and going through really dark times, possibly dark night of the soul energy here, um, sleepless nights, anxiety, depression, maybe ill health of some sort. So with regard to the garden and the gate, he may have seen that there was opportunities, the other side of the gate ahead of him. But because of what he was going through, he wasn't able to take those opportunities at that time. He had to do his healing work. There's healing work that needed to be done. Because that's followed by the broken heart. So this person had a broken heart. I'm not saying you broke their heart as a feminine. This could be from previous relationships. This could even be from childhood trauma that they'd never healed from. And this is what they needed to work on. So, yeah, death, rebirth. So I feel he's definitely been working on this, you know, to heal his broken heart, you know, to start opening his heart again, to give and receive love. It was very broken, very damaged and very bruised from the past. And then we have Magician in the Mirror, and I will see that about manifestation. That's Queen of Pentacles. So possibly his feminine is a earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and again, it's pentacles. So he's. it could just be that he sees you as somebody that's very independent, very financially stable in your own life. You're very nurturing, you're kind, you're caring, and he wants to manifest you back into his life. He wants this, you know, connection, because the next card is caring connections. So he does want that love, you know, he does want to connect. And then we've got Ten of Cups. So yes, definitely wants this Ten of Cups, you know, wants this happy ever after, this, you know, emotional contentment situation, possibly with children. There's children here. Maybe he wants the family moving forward in this connection. So that's very positive. So let's get some other messages. So this is him talking to his feminine. The hurt I caused you has made me feel broken beyond repair. So, yeah, I mean, maybe he broke his own heart as well by the way he treated you. I've researched Twin Flames and resonate with the connection. As we said, his crown chakra is opening and he's aware of this now. I'm running because right now I can't face my own fucking mess. So, he's not ready to face his feminine just now. He needs to work on himself. I crave baby making sex with you over and over again. We saw that he does want a family at some point in the future. You are my addiction, my ultimate high. So he can't really get you out of his mind. You're on his mind constantly. I effed up so effing badly. How could you possibly forgive me? I can't forgive myself. So he's beating himself up about how he's treated you. And again, he needs to work on this. To, to work on self-love and self-forgiveness. Please don't give up on me. I will never let you go. So he doesn't want you to give up on him right now. He really doesn't. And it was love at first sight for him, even though he may not have even told you this. I don't want you to date anyone else, you are mine. So he's feeling quite nervous and anxious about whether you're going to move on. And some of you could have moved on because we had that at the beginning, if you remember. We had three as a crowd. So he may feel that you, you know, there is somebody else around you right now and vice versa, of course. So, yeah, he may not be looking after himself physically right now. He may not be exercising or eating very well. Um, but he's very intelligent. He does use his, his logic a lot to think things through before taking any action. We saw that with strategy, the strategy card. But he could be somebody who's been quite closed-minded. And as I say, his, his crown chakra is opening up now. So he is seeing things from a different perspective. He could have had toxic behaviours in the past, as we said, he's not eating well or looking after himself, but I think he's coming out there now. Yeah, he's he's in touch with his intuition, he's been going within, 
and connecting to that inner knowing, um, connecting to his higher self as we saw the crown chakra is opening. He's had a fear of lack, a fear of not having enough. Um, not just financially, I feel this is emotionally. He didn't feel he could give emotionally at the time to his family. And now he's feeling like he's starting out again. He wants a fresh start, like like a young person starting out in life. He, he just, you know, he's not sure which way to go to yet. He wants to be abundant, you know, in his life. He wants to have that happy family. We saw that with the Ten of Cups. Friends, love, money. He wants to be that abundant person in his life. He's not feeling attractive or sexy at the moment. You know, he's not. As I say, he's not been looking after his physical health, um, so he's not in a good place there. But he's starting to look after himself. He wants to be um, raise his self-esteem and get back into his uh, self-fitness, which will help his self-esteem as well. Yeah, he wants to get back together. You know, he may reach out. So someone reaches out, so he may reach out, okay? Um, he's had confusion and grief over this connection. Um, because at some point he may have denied even having a connection. Um, again, contact we got here. Um, one or both of you is going to reach out to the other, I feel. Uh, missing the sound of your voice, thinking of you. You know, this could result in passion. Um, again, it, it could, you know, it could not, it may not result in you being together. He could run again. Um, you know, there could be passion again, and then he could run again. I'm not I'm not sure about that. But it's saying here mutual love, so maybe he's more in touch with his feelings now. But then it gets all too much again. So he does get scared about how deep his feelings run. And he does want the feminine's love, you know, as she wants his love. Yeah, so I think at one point... Um, you know, the masculine wasn't work, doing any work on himself at one point. But I think that's changed. And he's working on his self-love now. And his self-esteem. And he's aware of this twin plane connection now. And he knows, you know, he's looked into it. He knows it's one soul split into two. That there's, you're always going to be connected. There was a lack of trust between you both, I feel. And he does ultimately want to work together with his feminine. So let's get some messages from him, like some additional messages. So I also want to say, if it wasn't for the circumstances, I would have married you the first day we met. I was that sure about you and I just wanted my soul spouse back. I'm so sorry it seemed I rejected you. It's all down to my fear of not being enough. I'm working on my career to improve my finances so I can offer you stability. I hope you can forgive me. My silence has caused us so much pain. Your face is the most beautiful face I've ever seen in my life. The first time I saw you, I knew you wanted to see that face every day of my life. So, you know, that's what he seemed to be thinking deep down, but he may not have even showed that to you. So let's get some guidance from Spirit. And then we'll go on to the feminine's energies. So there is going to be a new beginning in love here. And even a proposal for some of you. And he's gaining his spiritual knowledge. We saw that with the crown chakra opening. And happy times ahead. So that's beautiful. <clears throat> Very positive there. So that's the masculine's energy. So now we're going to check the feminine's. So here we are with the feminine energies. So we have anxiety. Angel of balance. Cornucopia. Blossom in abundance. Indecision. Daughter value. Patience. An angel of love. So let's clarify these with the tarot. So we've got anxiety. So 
you know, it's possible if there's no connection, you're in separation. You know, a lot of feminines could be feeling quite anxious right now. You know, they may not know if they're going to hear or see their divine masculine again. Um, and could be feeling quite anxious over this connection right now. So let's get some clarification. <clears throat> so we have Page of Swords. So I think clarity is going to be coming in. There's going to be a message of truth coming in here. Okay, which will help alleviate the feminine's anxiety. And then we have Angel of Balance. So I think the feminine's been working on, you know, balance within herself. And we've got Ten of Swords. So she's been going through a dark night of the soul as well, I feel, like sleepless nights, anxiety, depression. But with the Ten, you're at the end of this cycle. You've you've gone through the process and this is, involves healing. This could be inner child work. This could be past traumas to do with relationships, codependent, addictions, all these sort of bad negative habits that you're looking at and you're working at, finding that balance within yourself right now. And with cornucopia, we have the eight of cups. So maybe you, feminines, did walk away from this connection at one point because you didn't feel um, that you, it was going anywhere, that it was going it was actually bringing you any abundance or any happiness at that time because we had the anxiety there. So some of you could have walked away from this connection, okay, because you wanted to walk towards your cornucopia, towards your abundance. And then we've got blossoming abundance and we've got page of cups. So, yeah, there's a love offer on the table. There's a love offer going to come in at some point. Um, somebody is going to declare love to you okay and then we've got indecision we've got four of wands so <clears throat> i feel the feminines were feeling indecision over this stability this foundation with this masculine because it didn't sort of materialize it didn't really come to fruition um so there's indecision moving forward about that let's get another card on that so we've got temperance. So again, that's about balance, finding that balance within, you know, the balance between negative, positive, feminine, masculine, dark and light, and having that patience as well. So if you if you don't know what decision to make, obviously don't make a decision, you know, wait until you know what decision to make. Because then we've got door to value. So that's about obviously having a good <clears throat> self-esteem, self-worth. And we've got the devil, yeah. So there were, I feel there were addiction issues, maybe um, negative behaviour patterns that you've had to work on to go through the door to value, to open up to your self-worth, your self-esteem. You've worked on these issues. So let's get another card on that. We've got King of Wands here. So this could be your masculine. This could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or this could be you balancing your emotions with, in, from, with feminine and masculine energies. And also it's a very passionate, action-orientated um, energy here. A uh, very motivated energy. So maybe you found that within yourself to move forward. And we've got patience again here. So a lot of patience has been needed in this connection, I feel. And with patience, funnily enough, we've got eight of wands, which is the movement forward card. So I feel after having a lot of patience with yourself, with your masculine, with the connection, things will start moving forward and they will move forward quickly because we've got the eight of wands here. And then we've got angel of love. And we've got the world. So this is the start of a new cycle. You know, this is the start of a new beginning um, in life. You know, a, a, new, a new movement forward. In your life you know so let's get another card on that so we've got the magician so it's about you manifesting what it is you desire for yourself you know what is it you desire moving forward in your life what do you want in your life moving forward you know do you, you want a family do you want a you know somebody a partner you know what is it that you want to manifest so it's about focusing on that and then you can manifest what it is you desire. So what other energies have we got here? So this is the feminine talking to the masculine. You are my angel, but I really love your devilish attitude in the bedroom. So you possibly had a lot of sexual chemistry in the bedroom. 
have very dirty, kinky sexual dreams about you. So there's a very strong sexual connection here. I don't know how to respond to you right now because I feel your reject reaction. So maybe the feminine has reached out before and been ignored or ghosted and she doesn't really want to risk it anymore. Feminine could be going through some family stuff at the moment. You stay on my mind and I want I want you and you end up in my bed. So, you know, missing that physical sexual intimacy. I worship your naked body as a temple. Yeah, a lot of sexual desire here. <laughs> since we separated, I feel like I've died every day since. So, you know, really missing this connection with her masculine at this time. So where else is the feminine at? So again, she's somebody intelligent who uses her logic as well um, to find answers to problems in her life. Quite logical. But she can be fearless. She's quite brave at the moment. And she's open to trying new things, going to new places. A lot of people might see her selfish, but she's focusing on herself right now and her self-love, her self-care, which is important right now. She's been stuck in a rut because she had a fear of any change. But I feel she's coming out of that energy now. And she could have been unmotivated as well on health issues, a lack of self-worth. As I said, she's working on these issues right now. She could be somebody that loves, connects with animals and these really help with unconditional love and help heal her heart as well. She could have like anxiety and depression which could bring on other health conditions, you know, the anxiety is bringing on other health conditions. She could be a professional person who's focused, ambitious and very driven in her life. She's very compassionate, you know, loving heart and she's there for anybody, but she's focusing on herself right now as we saw the self-love. She needs to focus on herself. She may be getting creative, using that sacral energy. We saw there's a lot of sacral fire there for her masculine so because they're not in con communication or connection she's pouring this into her creativity in some way so timing is everything she knows that this is a divinely guided connection and she knows that they've shared many lifetimes together so she's learning to go with the flow you know she lost her heart to a masculine and she's finding it very difficult to get him out of her head basically she has a deep understanding and compassion for her masculine. She knows her story has just begun and this sole mission to help others is what she would like to work for masculine. But at this point she's not sure if that will happen. But she can go on sole mission on her own. You know, maybe you had a friendship and maybe that ended as well. Um, because even the friendship couldn't be maintained. Yeah, I mean, she was. She felt the deep, deep connection with her masculine. There's no doubt in that at all. And she's, you know, overwhelmed by her feelings and really upset right now, you know, especially if there's no communication or separation from a masculine. You know, this deep soul love, lovemaking triggers past memories. You could be remembering past lifetimes that you shared. <clears throat> So much passion, it, it was overwhelming at, at times, but it opened up her heart, opened up the feminine's heart again. Yeah, we've got this intense sexual attraction, so the feminine is really feeling that right there, I'm missing it. She's connecting to her intuition. You know, she's had an awareness, an awakening, and she knows that it was fated for her to meet her masculine. She could have been the chase at some point and, and not understanding why, you know, he ran away, basically. She feels the energetic connection between them. You know, they're possibly connecting on the 5D. You could be from different backgrounds, different religions, different countries. And she's gaining wisdom and clarity on this situation now. And she wants to talk things through. She wants to be together with a masculine, you know, that she's got that overwhelming desire to just be of her masculine right now she wants to be able to talk things through with him so what does she want to say right now what's the feminine want to say to her masculine 
I'm on fire with desire to create a baby with you. It's on my mind 24 hours a day. So we had that all that fire energy. I'm working on being the best version of myself because the old me wasn't good enough for you. So she is doing work on herself. You know, she didn't feel that she was good enough either. So they were mirroring in that aspect. I've never felt the way I feel about you. If anyone else, I was yours immediately. You're just so damn sexy. I like it, but I get worried because I know I was like it too. And I want you all to myself. I want to hold you and kiss you in public and show the world you're mine. I worry there are others who love you and can offer you more than I can. So we saw that, you know, third party situation and that possibly that in some of your connections there is a third party. I was so instantly consumed by the passionate soul pool I mistook our connection for lust. But after all this time the desire has just intensified and lust dies out fast. So we could see the intense passion there that the feminine is feeling for her masculine. So let's have a look. Let's get some final messages. Final messages from the feminine or from spirit. Yeah, sacred union of two souls. She feels like it was a lost love, you know, from another lifetime. Soul family. There could be travel or relocation. We've got patience again. And balancing emotions. So I feel once these things happen, you know, the chart, as I said, by, you know, Halloween time, there could be significant movement here um, from one or both of you in this connection. So I hope that resonated. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see you in my next video. Many blessings. Take care.